there's our answer. Beautiful stroke. And uh, those three lights on the scoreboard shining in umpire Bird's eyes. Four more to uh, Aravinda de Silva. If he keeps going like this, it'll be one of the fastest 50s of the season. We'll have to wait until uh, the third day of this Cornhill Test match to see if he can manage that. He remained 42 not out with Hatura Singer on 19. 75 for two, there were five more added up to that score at the close of play. Five extras in the total, Karupu out for five and Guru Singer for four. And the bowling figures dominated as they have been this summer on many occasions by De Freitas, seven overs, two maidens and two for 23. There was a 50 partnership between Aravinda de Silva and Hatura Singer and Hatura Singer made just seven of those. The situation after two days of this test match, England 282 all out, outstanding performances from Stewart and Ratnayaka and Sri Lanka in reply 75 for two, de Silva a brilliant 42 not out and his team Sri Lanka 207 runs behind. The day England 282 all out, Stewart 142, Sri Lanka 207 runs behind. We join play now in the second over. It's the second ball. De Freitas is the bowler. He's bowling to De Silva, and no runs have been added to the overnight score. Oh, what a marvellous catch. That is the catch of a very, very athletic young cricketer. Chris Lewis has caught it with Aravinda De Silva not quite getting over the top of the attempted square cut. Great anticipation and a very good pair of hands. Here comes Ian Botham. Oh. And that's the first time that Botham's tried the aim swinger. <laughs> Russell. Well, the only. Dickie Bird wasn't interested. Dickie Bird has just walked away, assuming that the batsman was going to do precisely the same thing. It required a quick little finger jerk from the umpire. And it's produced a quick little head shake from the batsman. Another good outswinger. He's catching the outside edge and oh, Russell finishing on his knees, but uh, Hanging on to it, and no doubt in Ian Botham's mind. The new batsman is uh, Jay Saria. <laughs> don't bother chasing that. Giving that a lovely wristy crack away through extra cover. So all the Shalankas are prepared to play their shots and Jesseria there, that was a beautiful cover drive. And Philip De Freitas has a um, world rating, that's the Cooper's Deloitte rating of 15. That is pretty good. He's um, pushed himself up with some splendid performances this summer against West Indies. Some have said that if De Freitas has a fault, it's, he bowls a little too short, and uh, he's doing that here again. It's, there's plenty of movement, but he needs to pitch the ball up on a fullish length. That's too short on this pitch. It's easy pace. Oh, he's done it again. De Freitas has picked up another one. Jair Saria has gone, and it's another great catch. Robin Smith needing to dive forward as well as going a little sideways. That's uh, quite often the most difficult type of catch. Uh, two brilliant efforts this morning by the England fielders. Yes, England's fielding have been absolutely top class this morning, and that's another perfect example that catches win matches. Fine catch there by Robin Smith. Tilla Karatny is the left-hander. <laughs> and up they go. 
everybody's in the air except John Hampshire's right arm he says not out well that was certainly a very confident appeal and I think you probably saw the ball, the bat hit the pad there. That was probably the noise. But uh, umpire Hampshire, absolutely certain he hadn't hit it. Tough all. And that was a good piece of fielding. Came in, picked the ball up on the move, and a very good throw. Well, what a take that was. Yeah, there's a fine take by Jack Russell, well wide to the leg stem, well, really well wide, and that was a good take. And the change in, in fields, we've got Ian Botham now coming in very close and short there from the second gully. And uh, that's where they fancy that they can get the left-hander. But not if you bowl like that. And this is uh, it's thrilling stuff from Sri Lanka. Eight off the over. Yes, to the ground, he doesn't really pick the bat up high, he just short back lift and then really watches the ball right onto the bat and just whips it away. That was a good shot. And uh, Ian Botham finished it. No spin still coming to the attack yet. Uh, well, Gooch might just have given a little trundle of spin from that end. Particularly, Ray, when you've got... <laughs> middle order batsmen who are pretty free against the quick stuff and as we saw at the oval when Tufnell did come on um, almost total mayhem and you never know do you no, and the fact is that the ball certainly not moving around like it was in the first half hour so far this morning we've been going for 85 minutes and in that time we've had 21 overs so uh, isn't the greatest over eight in the world and I don't think it'll improve much with this man David Lawrence He's gone. Hugh Morris, the easiest of catches. Little Rutler goes after some studied defiance, out for 20. Perfectly straightforward catch there for Hugh Morris. Yes, good straight delivery. Just moving a little up the hill, inside edge, onto the roll of the pad, and uh, gaping catch and the batsman walked off he didn't wait for the umpire he knew he'd got an edge and that's uh, just what you want moments before lunch now the other batsman's come down to have a word in his shell like very very quickly and uh, Ratnayak has told him to mind his own business I'll play my way. <laughs> Lawrence now to Ratnayaka. Well, gracious me, that's got to be out. Jack Russell and is. No ball called, in fact. a single the batsman. There's two runs, 50 for Chandika Hatterasinga. Patient innings, eight minutes over three hours, five boundaries.
sixth boundary. Chris Lewis now to bowl. Mesh Ratnaika on strike. Flowing after lunch, ten off Lawrence's first over, four more there. said to him to calm him down it's certainly worked all right there he comes down again to give him a bit of advice he's not frightened to go after the ball a good clean strike beautiful stroke the two singers laid back on that Corrupt it away past point. Lovely shot. Just a little bit short from Phil Tuckle. That was a fine shot. Uh, the ball did turn. So the singer just went with the shot. That turned quite a lot, but uh, he watched it carefully and just placed it through the fingers. Picked his spot. Fifty for Rumesh Rodnaka. And there is an admiring throng on the balcony. The Sri Lankans there. The tourist singer is uh, driving Rumesh Rodnaka. The fans are cheering him. He's had a great all-round performance in this game. All the little nods you see from Rumesh Rodnaka. They're acknowledging the driving bursts he's getting from the other end from Hatura Singer, who's trying to get him to keep his head down, concentrate. Rumesh is not averse to smashing one or two down the ground. But now that may be the end. Benson had flicked his glove before going under his helmet. I think possibly it was a direct hit on the helmet. I mean, there was no way he was going to hit that ball. It was short of a length, and he just had an enormous swing at it. Straight off the front of the helmet. Very little doubt about that. An excellent Yorker from Philip de Freitas. Five wickets to him. He's bowled superbly this summer. But that was a splendid knock from Rumesh Ratnaika. He made 52. He's established a new record for Sri Lanka against uh, England for the seventh wicket. And he was wonderfully entertaining. It was great stuff. Yes, it certainly has. A very, very good performance. Beautiful Yorker from Philip de Freitas. The whole crowd standing here as he returns to the pavilion. Ratnaika bold De Freitas, 52. 5 for De Freitas, who has bowled consistently well through this innings. Started on a very high note, took the first two wickets, took a little bit of stick from De Silva, but has bowled extremely well right through. Ramanayaka now. That's out.
grave dejection and disappointment for Ramanayaka. I think that he believed he'd got a little touch on that. But maybe it reflects the huge disappointment. And here we can have a look at that. Well, very difficult to tell from here. It was certain, certainly hitting the stumps. And that bat got very close to it. For England. And this time, is he, he is. And good catch out there by Tufnell. And that is the end of Hatrasinga. Hadn't scored a run for three quarters of an hour. Tufnell highly delighted. Gracious me, he's... Uh, he knows most of these acres at Lords, having played for Middlesex, but um, that was a real hard stopper for him. And there's a man who's disappointed, but he deserves a big hand. Fine innings, caught by Tufnell, and a seventh wicket for De Freitas. And now Sri Lanka, 220 for nine. Oh, well, De Freitas digging it in short. Not a full bouncer. Churising is picking it up down the leg side, and Tufnell judged that pretty well at the finish. He started off coming in and had to go back, but he got it easily at the finish. New batsman Don Anurisiri, slow left arm bowler, he bowled well. David Lawrence. Bowled him, Anurisiri misses, Lawrence hits the end of Sri Lanka, all out for 224. And that's better than looked possible when that mid-inning slump came along. Splendid partnership, a record between uh, Rumesh Ratnayaka and her tourist singer. They made 52 and 66 respectively. 224 all out and the bowling figures for England. Outstanding performance from Philip De Freitas. He thoroughly deserves everything he gets. He's had a super season, bowled very well against the West Indies. And here today against Sri Lanka, 26 overs, 8 maidens, 7 for 70, 2 for 61 for Lawrence and one for 26 for Ian Botham, only seven overs of spin from Philip Tufnell. That is the situation, 58 runs behind Sri Lanka with England starting their second innings with Gooch and Morris. We join it in the first ball of the second over, Rumanaika is the bowler, he's coming in from the nursery end, he's bowling to Hugh Morris and Graham Gooch has the single that's on the board at the moment. Nicely placed by Morris. And a good combination from the two fielders. Vijay Gunnar and her two singer. Flick back from the former and the latter then uh, made a good fast flat throw. for all rope, the full toss on leg stump to Graham Gooch. Well, this sort of delivery doesn't often happen in the early overs of a test match. And Graham Gooch making the most of it. Big shout from uh, Romanaika. And uh, not a bad shout at all either. Lovely shot. Perfectly balanced. Shot of the day without any question. Beautiful strike. It wasn't really half volley either. Just hit it on the up. First bowling change. Manaka gets a rest and uh, perhaps 
will switch to the pavilion end eventually. Luigi Guna Wadina to replace him. Four more. Beauty's fourth boundary. Timing, good wrist work. Will just races away down there. Didn't go for four, but they've run them. Apart from the first hour of the day when the ball did swing quite a lot, Ian both in particular got it to swing, it's not really done much all day. There's been some movement off the seam, but uh, I think that's got less and less as the day has gone on. That's a more authentic stroke from Morris. <laughs> Lovely timing. Just a couple of overs of seam from Ouija Guna Wadina, and now we've back to the slow left arm spin of Don Anurasiri, and he bowled well in the first innings. Well, almost a carbon copy replay of the first innings when he got a wicket with his first ball. Oh, it's certainly unfortunate there. Gooch played at that, and that really turned. Just to be. Uh, to be Champaka Rumanaika now from the pavilion end. Lovely shot. Just a little short arm jab, that's all it was. Seventh boundary for Gooch. Yes, and really speaking, Rumanaika is not quick enough to bowl that length to a player of Gooch's class. Although he's gone forward, he just rocks back and swats it away behind square, right in the middle of the bat. Never any problem at all. Oh, that's out. Gone for the sweep, little top edge. And the end of Hugh Morris, support for 23. It must be said that Henry Series deserved that wicket. The England partnership broken, 78 for one. And has Morris done enough for the winter? Here it comes, pitched well up, and hitting it rather than helping it. And just a little top edge for the man behind square. Batsman Alex Stewart. And there's another delivery from Anasiri, which is causing problems, but Gooch gets away with it and gets to 50. A splendid innings it's been. Ah, good innings by Gooch. It's also been a good performance by Anasiri. He's bowled very, very well. Spun the ball. Gooch to take the last over of the day. And Jaya Syria it is, who... Another slow left arm spinner. Much more occasional bowler. Now well, that is the 100 for England. Off in the 35th over. Quite a good scoring rate too, and Gooch was the main reason for that with his 60 not out to go with the first innings runs he made. Morris out on the sweep for 23 to the left arm spinner Anna Rasiri, and Stewart stayed with Gooch to the end. Five more balls were bowled, but no more runs made. England 100 for one. The bowling figures for Sri Lanka, the interesting one there, 
Anna Rasiri, 11 overs, 5 maidens, 1 for 19, bowled very well again, as did Sri Lanka, 2.24 all out, with England 158 runs ahead and 9 second innings wickets in hand. So it is an extremely strong position for Graham Gooch and his men.